welcome back. We are going to be doing some crayon rubbings today. The hardest part, well, don't, that was supposed to be just like decorative. <laughs> a lot of you have probably done this with leaves already and today we're going to be doing it with leaves and then maybe some other objects like Legos. You can go collect things around. The key is you want it to be something that's relatively flat, like a coin or a leaf, um, because it's a little bit easier to make a rubbing out of. But if you want to use the bottom of your shoe, you totally could do that too. Just make sure it's clean before you do it. And uh, unwrap your crayons before we get started. That's sometimes the hardest part. Just getting the wrapping off of those crayons so that you can use them to create these rubbings. And let's get started. Really quick, in the intro, I just wanted to show you some different examples. Um, coins make really cool rubbings. This is just a coin from um, Denmark, a kroner. And then leaves always are beautiful, but Legos. And this is actually the bottom of a Lego, it's not even the top. So go and collect some things that you think might make some really cool, have some really cool textures, and we'll create some rubbings out of them. Also, if you're thinking like, how many crayons do I need to unwrap? It's kind of hard. You could use one color. I would probably unwrap at least two, whatever colors that you like. And let's get started. After you've gathered your objects, get your crayons ready. You might have to unwrap them. It takes a long time, but it's worth it. And if you don't have that much time, you can always get them unwrapped. <laughs> so what you want to do is grab your leaves, whatever you have, lift your paper up, place them underneath. The hardest part is your paper might move around. You can add tape to your paper if you want it to stay a little bit more stable. And grab whatever crayon you want to use. Keep it flat and then you just create your rubbing. This is a cool way to document like where you've been, if you, if you have been traveling or probably not, if you haven't been traveling, you know, even just going on walks near your house. It's kind of a nice way to document what you found. Legos make really, really cool rubbings. I actually really like the, this side of the Legos instead of this side. Watch what happens. gets these really nice circles. Yeah, who knew Legos? Such a cool pattern. You can even gather, gather your coins that you've collected as you've traveled around the world. These Danish kroners are so cool, how they have like a, a hole in them. Let's see if I can get that one. I'll do it in a dark color so you can see it a little bit better. The hard thing with coins is they kind of move around a little bit. But that kind of worked. Go around, see what you can find. You can find different leaves. Also, try rubbing this side of the leaf or like, you know, does this side work better than this side? I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm gonna turn it upside down and grab my color and we'll see. So upside down works really well. But let's see what happens when we flip it. I mean, look, we can see all of the details. That's really, really beautiful. <laughs> now what happens if we flip it this way? I'll do that right up here. Ah, still, it's great. I guess leaves have, people like to use leaves just because look how amazing they look. Let's try to find another object, one that's random. Oh, I wanted you to see what happened if you did this to the bottom of a shoe. You can even grab a shoe, grab a paper, put it over your shoe, and you can create, oh, it's the hardest part is just to keep it still. See if I can keep it still on the bottom of a shoe. Here we go. Try to get this in one sweep. Check that out. That is a cool pattern. And the nice thing with this is, well, these shoes are clean, which is not the normal case. These are have not been worn yet. But the cool thing is, I mean, look, you can even get text 
through and those cool patterns. Bottoms of shoes, great idea. So what I would do is grab these objects, do a rubbing with maybe four, do at least four different um, rubbings on your paper and then go and find different objects. Go outside, go, um, you can even just look around your house. If you can't go outside, just look around your house and you can find really cool objects with really nice texture like Legos or even toys like this from Legos. This could have a really nice texture if you put it under your paper, but also coins have a great texture too. So don't feel like you have to go outside. If you live in a big city and you're not able to go outside, then maybe you can just find things around your apartment that you can use, like shoes. And the hardest part is keeping your paper still when you're doing it. So I would just practice maybe doing one thing at a time, one object under a time, and then it's easier maybe for you to hold your paper down. How did it go? Did you like making those? I really enjoy crayon rubbings and sometimes I'll even put watercolor over the top just to like add some more color in the background. I wanna know like some of the coolest things that you were able to make rubbings out of and I would love to see your work. Um, now what I want you to do is to use these rubbings to create texture in a drawing that you're going to make. And an idea I have, I had my students do this once, is to um, make a monster out of it. Or you could do like some kind of animal and try to find something with texture you can make rubbings out of that looks like the skin or the fur of that animal. Like maybe you could find something that looks like dragon scales and then do the drawing and then get the texture underneath and then make the rubbing. So start with your drawing and then do the rubbing. Of course you could do it in um, the opposite order and it would probably work too, but have fun with this project and have a wonderful day.